Well, the sun's been back out today, but the rain last night was actually very good news for everyone getting ready for next month's garden walk. Because as two on your sides, Jen Stanona shows us the weather hasn't been making it easy. Plenty of watering needed, especially for gardens like this one that's part of Garden Walk Buffalo. Extra work every day. It needs a good soaking. It takes a long time to water all of this. Ann Garris says she's been in the Garden Walk for 17 years on Johnson Park and that this year has been more work leading up to the late July walk since it's been very warm since last month with inconsistent below average rain. It's been a little bit of a challenge. We go instantly from cold into heat. And yeah, it's been a little challenging to keep everything watered. We met with Ann two months ago after a cold spring delayed the start of the growing season. But now at least everything is almost caught up. The heat helping with that. The heat is really helpful, especially for the tropicals. If you have warmer weather things like canna or dahlia, they really need the heat to grow. And once the plants are growing well, the rest of the garden comes together. And then it's the fun and creative stuff. You know, like I've been painting pots and um, setting up my miniature gardens. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement around Garden Walk. It's like a big fun garden party. And you can see many of these gardens on July 28th and 29th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. In Buffalo, Jennifer's Denonis, Channel 2 News.